Welcome back. My name is Shegun, and we're in the part four of this series of Blender animation. So today we'll be talking about Blender icons. Now I left this project file so we could see what we've been working on lately, the robots. Now, like I said, a little recap how to rotate. You hold down your middle mouse uh, to go to your front view, numpad one, to go to the side view, numpad three, and to check it from the area view, you could use numpad seven. And if you want uh, to look at it from another view, you could use numpad four to look for it like diagonally or numpad six, whatever. And what's on? Just check what works for you or what you want. Now, zero basically is to go look at it from the camera view. Now, object basically is not in the camera. And I will tell you also why object is basically not in the camera. All right. Let's go out of camera view now. Let's go to number view. Now, we're going to talk about icons. I'm going to show you some few things that you need to get started if you're using Blender. Now, the first one you need to get started is your shader view now what's the shader view that's I, I would like you to see the shader view like um okay i like you to see the shader view as a lens at which you look at an object when it's finished the shader view is going to show you how your composition is going to look when it's done now for example we're in the we're actually in the viewport shading now this is the viewport shading now there's another shade a, a viewport that you can look which is the wireframe or viewport shading wireframe this particular frame shows you the reflective skeletal structure of this robot here now let's go back to our default viewport shading then the next one we could look at is the material shader the material shader helps you look at your objects when it's actually um when it's carrying a lot of materials but trying to make it simplify that the material doesn't overweigh the ability or strength of your system because whenever you're looking at these things two things is involved when you're looking at viewport shadings once you go to your um, render shadings your system if you have a graphics card your system begins to use your gpu power to view so the stronger your gpu power the faster whatever you're viewing comes to play but if you do not have a gpu like you're starting now what's a gpu that's like a graphic uh, processing unit it has to do with your graphics basically now if you don't have a gpu your system will have to make use of your cpu your that's your cpu power that's like your ram to actually do that now if you already dedicate your ram to doing something else the system tries as much as possible that's why your core comes to play the core immediately tries as much as possible to separate and delegate how many rams goes to each functions on the software so i'm going to show you what i'm trying to say here now if you go to the texture shader the texture shader would show you a texture that's in this character now in this robot we don't have a texture on it now, let's assume we want to create a texture um let's assume i want to create a texture a fast texture for it so i'm going to use like um let's uh, try a glass shader a glass shader gtx principal shader let's go to glass so once it's in a glass shader and i move to the texture shader you see immediately it gives me this glassy feel i see this kind of reflective glass feel on the character that's basically what it does now it doesn't make my my character heavy or strong no but rather it gives you this glassy feel like i said earlier on so it's light but on the other hand if we're going to look at this glassy feel on the viewport shading that has to do with the render shading now let's look at that immediately it changes it now the reason why it's like this is because there is no light in the scene so because there is no light in the scene which i can actually see the texture so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to put up a light in my character now before i do that 
and come in let me just change to cycles all right now if i'm in cycles cycles will show me something like oh this is your texture but you can see that this texture is not actually defined but this is how it's gonna come out in reality once the scene is lighted now let me let let's let's add a light into the scene so i'm going to do shift a i'm going to teach you how to do that but this is just for example let's just add a sunlight so i'm going to move the sunlight gz i'm going to move it up now i'm going to go to the sunlight and i'm going to increase the strength to let's say 50 start with a 50. now immediately i increase the light in the scene now you could see that the viewport the shading aspect of the viewport is trying to show me that oh when you lit this scene this is how this character is going to come out and that's what i'm trying to say that's the difference between these three icons now let's look at it again on the material shader now if you look at the material shader it you there's a texture on it but i can't actually see the effect of that texture that means the material shader tries as much as possible to show you oh there's a material but i'm gonna keep it simple for you so your system can view it then the normal shader is a viewport shader where you could just look at flat shader there's no texture you obviously can see that now that's everything you need to know about the shader option the next icon we're going to move to is we're going to move to the tools around here now I'm going to start from the top, which is the scene. The scene here, basically, okay, what we're going to do is I am going to take out this cube. So I'm going to take our character and I'm going to scale it down. Now, I'm going to show you how to scale. If a character is big and you want to scale it, it's very simple. All you need to do is just press S and move your mouse down. So let's go to front of graphic view. You select the character by right clicking and you press S, then you move your mouse. You see the character is getting smaller. So if I press my camera view, now my camera can see something so I can scale it into the frame of my character. Camera, so I can move my camera so it bang, sees it. Now, if I'm going, if, let's now from this point, let's see how it looks like when we render. Now it's going to show you, this is how it's going to look like when we render. So let's do a test render image test render and i'm going to render an image out now it's rendering so i'm going to come back and we're going to check what we rendered and see how it looks like now what i'm what i'm trying to show you is what the viewports would do what they all do independently on their own now the next thing we're going to move on we're going to move to this part of the icon here now in this part of the icon you can see we have camera light round robot and sun now what this stands for is basically the elements in our composition in our 3d space now it's showing us that we have a camera which is selected now the one i select is going to have this yellow this orange bar around it now watch me select the light we can't see the light because it's out of frame i think it's around here so it's going to have that there the next thing i'm going to like select is the round robot now immediately you see it has this yellow selection so once you select something and you want to see if you're actually selecting the right thing once you come here and you select it it's going to like kind of have this yellow kind of like highlights or edges around it meaning that that object is selected then if i select my camera again you see he has this orange bar around the camera meaning i'm selecting my camera now the next thing here is if you're working on multiple image objects maybe there's an object behind the robot and you want to work on that object but the robot is getting in your way the thing you could do if you click on the robot here over here you could see like an eye an eye icon what that means is i'm going to blind i want to blind this particular character that I'm, i don't want to see it because i'm working on something so because i don't want to see it for now let it be temporal so i won't see it so once you click that eye it takes away the robot so whatever is behind the object you can basically work on that because you've actually 
made sure that you didn't enable the eye so if i enable the eye again the robot is going to show again you see disable enable simple the other thing you could do if you're rendering basically if you're rendering let's check our render and see okay now you can see our render what we just rendered this is what we rendered out now you can see it's a glass it has a glass feel to it now it just showed us that if we render this object out this is how it's going to look definitely we can walk around this and make it better but that's not what we're doing now so now a lot of feature under this particular panel is you see this icon that looks like a camera whenever you disable it if you're going to render anything the camera will not see it the camera will not render it unlike the eye button if i click on the eye button and i disable it even when i render my robot is still going to show up but on the on the contrary when it comes to the camera once you disable the camera whenever you render the camera is not going to see that particular object that you disabled its camera meaning that the camera is not seeing this object so that's one that's a way if you're doing complex renders that you want to just make sure that my camera is not seeing certain things that's the way you can actually blind the camera from seeing these things so i'm going to enable it back so that's that for all these um stuff over here now one last thing if you have anything parented to any of these objects when you click the arrow underneath it it's going to show whatever is parented now under our robots it's showing us that here we have a texture which is a glass texture parented under it so it goes on if you check maybe you have something under it you can just check and you see whatever you have under this icon so that move takes us to the next uh thing we're going to look at